Okay. Now, this video it's regarding capacitors, electrolytics. Okay. Which I get direct from Japan. I get direct from Japan. My business gets direct from Japan. Okay, so, because there was a guy on YouTube again, okay, which I sent him a message and I told him, you're totally incorrect in here, totally, and prove it, which he did not reply back to me. And this guy, basically, he's been on YouTube for many, many years, again, making money getting likes, getting dislikes, whatever. I don't care about that bullshit. I care about the truth, okay? Because it, it doesn't make us look good, trust me, okay? Because everybody, I've been getting people saying, oh, you're gonna be using original caps, are you on my unit? Not made in China. I said, no, it'll be original caps made in Japan. And this is the problem that we've got. Okay. The problem we've got is that people like that on YouTube saying all these things about Nietzsche Khan, about Alm, you know, about other caps that made in Japan, incorrect. They're not made in China. No, we get them direct from Japan. As you can see my stash in here, this is nothing. I've got hundreds, I've got hundreds in here, hundreds. For audio, Nichicon for audio, gold caps. All right, I've got hundreds. Panasonic, I've got hundreds. Elm caps, I've got, I've got hundreds of them. I've got another six boxes like that which we keep in stock for our customers. And I do buy from Hobby Elf. As I said, I'm, I, I love the guy. And that's why I always say to people, if you need caps, buy from Hobby Elf. You know, we're gonna try and sell them on our, on our, on our uh, website, these. Not on eBay, on our website. So if you need caps, let us know, even the trade people electronic guys if you have difficulty getting caps from japan because you got to look unfortunately the problem is with japan you've got to give uh, a decent order otherwise they, they don't want to know so i buy hundreds every month i give them probably about you know two thousand caps orders okay now there's a guy on YouTube saying all oh, this and that, news and news and news and news from America. Okay. Giving false information. Okay. The guy's a nice guy. He sounds like a nice guy. You know. I don't know if he's an electronic person, but he seems to be doing electronics on YouTube, fixing stuff. And you know. Good luck to him. I'm happy for him. But when you start talking shit, that's when I come in. All right? Now, I didn't get a reply back from him because he knows. He knows. I'm not a, a doo-doo head. I know my stuff. Once again, I'm going to have a whinge in here to all these YouTubers, electronic people, stop giving false information because I'll come in and, 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 and put my two bob in it. All right, all right, because you're making my job more harder, okay? Because a lot of customers of mine watch YouTube, okay? And this is why I get angry, because they they'll, they will say to me, oh, but we've seen it on YouTube, you know, there's a lot of counterfeits. Yeah, there is a lot of counterfeits on China. We all know this, you know, they, <laughs> you know? Of course there is. 
That's how China is. They don't care. They don't care about copyrights. They don't give a shit about copyrights. But when it comes to misleading, especially when it comes from America or from England or from bloody Australia or from bloody Bangladesh, whatever, well, this is when I come in because I know my stuff. All right? Stop talking rubbish. Tell people on YouTube the truth or prove it. Okay? Don't just say, oh, everything's come from China now. You know, it's all in one factory. You know, they do for Nichicon, Elm, and all this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, whatever. Prove it. I've been to China three times. I wasn't impressed. Okay? That's all I can say about China. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. I'm not impressed with their, you know, manufacturing. Okay? There's some caps come from China that are fantastic. Okay? But there is a lot of counterfeit. Okay? And the Japanese caps, they are the best caps in the world. This is my opinion, and I'll stick with my opinion. I use them all the time, from low voltage to high voltage. And I've never had a problem. Never. Okay? So, you know. Oh, I just get sick of it. I really, I've got no time to come on YouTube all the time. But I need to, because this is coming back to me from my customers. Asking me, are you putting original caps made in Japan? We don't want them to be made in Bangladesh. We don't want them to be made in China. We want original caps on our sets. Well, of course I do, and I have to show them. This is just ridiculous. So the people out there saying this rubbish, stop it. All right, stop it. It's a shame that you're far away. All right, stop it. Because you're lying. That's it. You're lying to people. All right? Especially on YouTube. All right? Okay. And you know who you are. Okay? I'm very angry at you. Very angry. Okay? That's all i got to say. Just ridiculous. You know, a waste of my time coming on YouTube. But I'm happy to come on YouTube and tell all of you that, yes, you need to pay. If you want made in Japan, you need to pay. They're not cheap. But you need to pay. That's all there is to it. My customers are willing to pay. This is why I get them direct from Japan. This is why. Tantalum capacitors. Tantalum. I get them straight from Hobby Elf because I know that his tantalums are Panasonic. They're not made in China, they're made in Japan. All right? There's a lot of tantalums that are sold on the internet, made in China. A lot of them. This is why I go direct. And I can go direct with tantalums. Yes, I can go direct, but I, I want to give the business to Hobby Elf because he looks after me. Okay, this is all I got to say. If you if you are after caps, to all the traders out there, to hobbyists, whatever, if you're after original caps, go on our website. All right? Audio Classic Hi-Fi. Again, oh, I just haven't got the time at the moment, but I'm going to be putting... Um, so I'm going to be putting inquiry in there, and you just send me what, what value you want on your actual capacitor. Excuse me because uh, uh, I'm having a cup of tea so you tell me the value 
and I'll give you a price. How many do you want? You can buy one, two, or three, or four. I mean, I've got to charge you postage. I think it's $9.70 in Australia for postage, but you know, you know, I prefer, uh, you know, if you want to buy three or four or five, not a problem. You want to buy one, not a problem. I'll post it out to you. Not a problem. Just pay with PayPal. Situation is, that's the way it is. So I'm going to be putting it on our website. You're more than welcome. If you can't get original caps, made in Japan, they have to be made in Japan. There's a lot of counterfeits out there. They're coming out from China. There is. Bad, really bad. Because, look, I've been in China, been in factories, and they don't care about copyrights. They're a communism country. They don't care. All right, come on. There's no law there. All right. Okay, it's not like the Western countries. There's law. Basically, there's a law. You cannot do this. You cannot copy somebody else's item. You know, otherwise you, you're going to be in courts. So, yeah. So, please note that there is manufacturers in China, sorry, in Japan, that are making caps. Okay, they are still there. Okay, simple. They are there. These are not copies. These are nothing. I can tell if there's a copy. Trust me, I can tell. And I'll do another uh, YouTube on this. How you can tell when the when there is a copy. It's simple. I think there was some. Um, oh, I forgot now who it was. There was a couple that I sent on YouTube. Uh, which these guys are really good. Uh, they did a review on capacitors made in China and made in Japan copies, right? So how can you tell uh, Nichicon or you know uh, Chemicon or you know or Panasonic if they're manufactured in China? Easy, very easy. This is why, and I say it again. This is why I go direct to Japan. I don't go to Mauser. Right? Mauser, it's a big company. There's a lot of stuff there. I'm not going to bag them. But they're, they're very expensive. Very expensive. Because they got written Mauser. Okay. Well, hello. You know, this is why I go direct to Japan. Now, not only I save money because I buy quantity, you gotta buy quantity if you want to go direct. Or, you know, basically, um, you know, or if you want just one or two, but Mauser's gonna charge you heaps of postage because I think it's FedEx and all that, just even if you buy two, it's ridiculous their postage cost. I mean, you know. <clears throat> so basically, anyway. So, this is nothing I've got. <laughs> I've got, I got like millions of them. <laughs> God, I've got another two of these like that. Boxes. Just friggin' heavy, man. It's like a weight. Uh, probably about, I reckon, easy. Uh, 15 Ks. Easy. Uh, that's how they come. Uh, and I write them down myself. That's how they come. Uh, I'll, I'll buy heaps. I'll buy heaps. I have to because I've got to give them to my boys. I have to, you know, when they're doing repairs, I have to give capacitors to my boys. Parts, transistors. Again, I'll talk about transistors next time because there's a lot of misinformation out there on YouTube. It's making people bloody confused, like my customers. They, they go, well, how come it's it's on YouTube? How come it's this? They're saying this, they're saying, well, and then I have to prove it to them. I have to prove it to my customers where I get them, you know, and that's it. That, that's what I do. So anyway, that's my uh, review on caps, Japanese caps, the best by Japan. Okay. Anyway, we're going to put them on our website. And if you want, you're interested, you're interested. If you're not, you're not. Not a problem. Okay. Thank you very much. And stay safe. Bye.